up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got yet another swatch and review for you. So today I am partnering up with Sir Colors to show you guys their new Celestial Collection. So that is a trio of thermal polishes, which means that they change color based on the temperature. There are three super gorgeous, unique shades. Three polishes is pretty short for a swatch and review. I'm also gonna be just showing you some of their top polishes. If you guys haven't heard of Sir before, I've reviewed them a ton of times because I love Sir. they're one of my top brands. Basically, they are an independent brand it's based out of New York City and they do just really insane wild high quality colors so yeah let's just get started with the swatching so as always I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches this is the Cirque base coat I will link it down in the description for those of you guys who are interested so here is the trio of thermal polishes I wanted to really quickly show them to you side by side so you could see they are pretty similar in the bottle but on the nail they look totally different so let's just get started so the first color that we have is called Luna and it is a gorgeous bluish purple that has a really strong blue shimmer in it as well as a little holographic shimmer running throughout. So when I apply it as a cold polish, it does have that nice gorgeous dark bluish purple and you can really see that shimmer running throughout. It just looks so beautiful and I think it's also a really great hint as to what color it's going to be once it gets a little bit warmer. In two coats I did have full coverage and this is what that looked like in its cold state slash kind of neutral state. You could see it was almost starting to shift a little bit into that bluish color as I was wearing it and applying it but here's a quick shot of what it looks like in its warm state. It's such a really drastic shift. I think it looks so super gorgeous. I love that really light turquoise aqua color. So here's a little bit of me switching back and forth between using cold water and hot water just to show you guys that shift. It was super temperature sensitive so you could really quickly see that change. Next up we have Terra. So in the bottle again it looks pretty similar but it does have a totally different shift and it really looks different on the nails to me. So when you are applying this cold it does have that really gorgeous almost like a violet purple color and and it also has a really warm purple shimmer running throughout it as well as those little holographic shimmers but then of course my nail was warm as I was applying it so you can see it already started to shift into that beautiful light blue so I love this one because I didn't realize that you could have kind of a shift from such a warm toned color to such a cool toned color especially such a drastic change so I think it looks super gorgeous this one I feel like I could have gotten away with three coats but I did end up doing two coats and I just thought it looked like a really gorgeous soft color you could sort of see that coppery shimmer kind of coming out when it's in its blue state and it's just really a beautiful color. So here's me messing around with the shift a little bit and you could see how warm toned it looks as a purple and then how cool toned it looks as a blue. So just a really impressive little shift there. Again, the warm is the cool state and the blue is the warm state. And last of the trio, we have Soul. This one shifts from a really nice warm purple, very similar to Terra, into a light baby pink. Again, it has that really warm shimmer running throughout it almost like a reddish copper and then it has those holographic shimmers as well. So this one again was a pretty soft shade. I did end up doing two coats and I think I got full coverage with that but if you have longer nails you might want to throw on a third coat. This one was again really beautiful. I think it's really interesting that each one has a very similar base but is so distinctly different because you know they're all purple shades but they all feel like such crazy different purples to me. So here it is in its warm state and this is the most subtle transition to me shifting from like a purple into a purpley pink shade but I still think it turned out really beautifully. So you can see here again I'm just playing with the warm and cold water so you can see in the cold water it turned into that nice dark purple and then once I dipped it into warm water it was that really soft baby pink. I think this one would be actually really fun for nail art especially something nice and springy just because both of these colors are just super warm and light and really nice. Okay, so now just on to some of their regular shades that I wanted to show you. This is Memento Mori. It is a black cream nail polish. I would argue that this is probably their best polish that they have because this is one of the best one coater blacks I think I've ever used in my life. I really love it. I've never used more than one coat of it before. I think it's great for stamping. I think it's great for nail art and I think it's great just to wear on its own or as a base to some sort of glitter. I just think this is a really nice color. It applies super 
super well. It does self-level, so you really never need a second coat of this. I think it's such a great shade, and I think it's a super great staple to have in your collection. Next up, we have XX, which is a holographic glitter topper, so it's named XX because it does have 20 different types of holographic glitters in it, and it's just a really gorgeous standout glitter. This has always been one of my favorites. You can apply it as normally like I did in this swatch, or you can dab it on to get different shapes, or you can even do glitter placement. If you guys are interested in a glitter placement manicure, just let me know, but this one, super stunning. Next up, we have Ambrosia, which is a really dark blood red holographic linear polish, and this is another one that just has amazing one coat coverage for me. You can apply a second coat, which I will be doing in these swatches just to show you guys, but this is just a super gorgeous, super opaque holographic shade. It also seems to have a little bit of like a red shimmer in it, which kind of just elevates it and makes it even more exciting than just a regular linear holographic polish. I think it just has a little bit more depth. This is what I'm talking about when I say that Cirque has these wild colors, because these are just, they just aren't colors that you would see anywhere else. So that's what I love about this brand. Next up, we have Matter, which is kind of Ambrosia's lighter sister, because it is another red holographic linear polish. This one kind of feels more like a cherry red to me. It's super bright. It's super fun. This, for me, I feel like this could go either way. Like, this could be a gorgeous holiday cranberry red color, or it could be a super fun summer vacation color. I just think it's really nice if you're the type of person who always wants to wear red nail polish, but you want to branch out into something more exciting and you don't want to go with crazy colors. This is a really good way to start because it does have that really gorgeous, subtle holographic shimmer in it, but it's also just a really fun classic red. Next up, we have Halcyon, which is a super gorgeous rose gold metallic foil nail polish, but this one is different from pretty much any other because it kind of has those reflective little flakes in it that kind of make it look like a mirror finish. It's kind of a like a hybrid between being a mirror finish polish and being a foil polish. So it's just super shiny, super reflective. You can even see like my lights are freaking out with the reflection here because it's just so bright and gorgeous. I don't think any photo or video could do this one justice. It is a one coat coverage, but I ended up throwing on two coats just to show you guys what that looks like. And last but not least, we have Reflector, which is kind of like the white gold version of Halcyon, which is like I said, again, that just hybrid between being a metallic foily finish and also being that chrome mirror like finish. I just don't have any other polishes like these in my collection. I think they're so stunning and unique. I think they could be used for nail art or you could wear them on their own and they're just so beautiful. This one did take two coats for full coverage, but it's just so gorgeous and shiny and reflective and it just feels really festive to me. All right, so that's it for the swatches. Like I said, just the first three that I showed you are new. The rest are just some of their top polishes, but I would definitely recommend all of them. I think that Cirque in general is a really good brand. Also highly recommend their top coat, just FYI. If you make an order from Cirque, definitely recommend getting their top coat. I do love their base coat as well, but I cannot say enough good things about the top coat. It's just super glossy. It feels gel-like and it helps my nails last a really long time. So yeah, definitely recommend that. But anyway, like I was saying, the trio retails for $14 each. The other polishes are uh, range from $12.50 to $14. So I will link everything down in the description below. They do also have some retailers, so I'll link those as well if you guys are interested. So yeah, let me know in the comments which is your favorite out of the three. If you guys want to see any nail art and any stuff like that, just totally let me know in the comments. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like my swatch and reviews. And also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, because I feel like I've been forgetting to ask people to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, you guys want to know actually a really weird fun fact about me. When I was young, Younger, I always wanted to work at an office job, like in a cubicle, answering phones or whatever. Like that was my dream. I was always like, I just want to be an anonymous employee <laughs> in an office job and just do my thing and then go home. And I feel like that most people don't want that. That's actually what most people are horrified by. What a lot of people end up doing in life, including myself. I have pretty much only ever worked typical nine to five office jobs. As of right now, I also work an office job answering phones. So <laughs> I guess you could say I'm living in the dream. I, just, I do feel like that's a very weird fun fact about me, but yeah. When I was really little, I wanted to be a writer, and I've always wanted to be like a writer on the side, but yeah, I've always wanted to just work at an office. So yeah, that's it. Uh, does anybody else work in office job? Just let me know in the comments. I'm actually curious what you guys do for a living. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!